This is gallium. It's a metal, but it has a melting point of 29.76 degrees Celsius, which means that it will melt in your hand to produce a beautiful silvery liquid like this. Unlike mercury, which is toxic, gallium is completely safe, which means you can do some pretty amazing stuff with it. Like mold it into shapes, or just swirl it around for hours in slow motion, which we did. A really cool thing we can do with gallium involves aluminium. So I've got an empty aluminium drinks can, which we've sanded all the paint off of, and some liquid gallium here. Now applying a small drop of this to the aluminium is gonna do something really interesting. Onto the can, and then because there'll be a layer of aluminium oxide on the top, just scratch away a little bit. Uh, now we just need to leave the gallium on there for a few hours, but you can see already that the gallium is tarnishing from a silvery color to a sort of blackish gray color. So this is our can that we left overnight, and you can see that the gallium has spread through that aluminium. And watch what happens when I put my finger through it. So it's incredibly weak. It's a really weird feeling. It's, uh, it's almost like there's nothing there at all. It just crumbles to something that feels a bit like ash in between my fingers. And of course, we also wanted to give this a try with a full can, just to see what would happen. Wow! <laughs> Should we get a, um, okay, so just explain what this <laughs> <laughs> That went really fast, right? <laughs> um, so we've just sprayed gallium all over our faces and the camera um, and exploded this because it took way less time than we thought it was going to. I thought that might take uh, up to an hour at the quickest and it took, what, seconds there and it's just exploded in our faces. Really amazingly um, torn open the can as well. Um, exciting and just a little bit frightening. So what's going on here to change aluminium from something relatively strong uh, that can be bent and deformed without breaking to something much weaker and, and brittle even? Well, contrary to what you might think, it's not a chemical reaction. The liquid gallium is actually physically penetrating through the aluminium. It's a process called liquid metal embrittlement. This is how it works. As a solid, aluminium has a crystal structure. Its atoms are arranged in a rigid lattice like this. It's very ordered and the bonds between the atoms are very strong. As in all metals, the outer electrons of the aluminium atoms aren't bound to one atom, but instead can move freely within the lattice. It's the attraction between the positive aluminium ions and the free-moving negative electrons that bonds the crystal together. But the solid aluminium isn't just one huge crystal. We can represent the structure in two dimensions. It's actually made up of many tiny crystals in different orientations called grains. Between the grains, we have grain boundaries. There's still some bonding between the grains, but it's not as strong as within the grains themselves. When we introduce just a small amount of gallium onto the surface of the can, because the gallium is a liquid, it can penetrate very rapidly into the aluminium grain boundaries. And once it's there, it gets in the way of the bonding between those grains. This makes it much easier to break the grains apart because now instead of pulling on strong aluminium bonds, you're pulling on the weak bonds between the liquid gallium atoms. So it doesn't take much for the aluminium to crumble apart. Oh God. <laughs> That's it for this video, thanks for watching. Uh, one last thing, a bit of a mystery that we had actually. We showed you one of the cans exploding as we applied some gallium to it earlier, but to be truthful, that was the only time we got a can to explode. Every other time we tried, we just got a weak little stream of drink uh, squeezing out of the can. Ah, oh, what? That was not it again. That was it again. So if you've got any ideas what was happening uh, that was different that one time the can exploded, please let us know down in the comments. If you like these videos, the RI is now on Patreon. So click the link above if you'd like to support our work and you'll get access to videos early on and some digital freebies. Thanks.